We are trying to find the best, most accessible lake here in Whistler. We're headed to Lost Lake right now, and then we're going to hike to Green Lake. Green Lake. And then we're probably going to go back to Lost Lake because we are getting on the free shuttle right now. Very accessible. It should only be like 10, 15 minute ride there. And then we can just experience Lost Lake. And then, of course, we have to go to another lake to see which one's the best. The free shuttle is a little bit confusing, but once you know what you're doing, it's really easy. So if any of you watching this video want to do the same thing that we did, you have to go to the road called Blackcomb Way. It's right next to the gondolas and you just like go out there. It's a huge bus stop area. And then you go to the blue sign that says free shuttle. They run 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. It is extremely easy once you figure out the bus stop because they'll come every 20 minutes, come pick you up. And it's like a five minute ride to Lost Lake Beach. That's where we are right now. And we're gonna look around here. It's probably gonna be pretty cool. And then we're gonna move on to Green Lake. We made it to Lost Lake and it is so cold, guys. Hopefully the clouds will clear and we'll be able to see them soon. It is 60 degrees right now and I am freezing. And there are people swimming in this lake. I don't know how they're surviving right now. It's really as cool to look at the lake. I mean, like, there's not a ton of stuff going on right now. Pretty much everyone here is just like relaxing, picnicking, sitting on the logs, just enjoying themselves, having good relaxing time. It's like maybe on a warmer day, people would be swimming a lot more in the lake because yeah. it's really pretty and it'd probably be a fun place to swim. I wonder if anybody comes here like in the winter, maybe to ice skate. This person is about to go swimming. I do not understand this at all. Before we go any further with this video, we have a huge surprise for you. Yes, you, you that's watching this right now. This month of September, we are doing a giveaway to give back to you. We are gonna donate half of the money to charity and half the money to one of you, our subscribers. The way you enter is you have to comment on every single video we post in September and you have to be subscribed. We're donating one cent for every like, two cents for every comment and three cents for every new subscriber. But there's another catch. If we hit 5,000 subscribers this month, we are gonna double the jackpot. That means double the money for you and double the money for charity Feed My Starving Children. Feed My Starving Children is a really cool organization. They pack the food here in the United States and then send it over to Africa and Haiti for kids who are malnourished. We will be doing a random drawing at the end of September and we will be announcing our winner then. So good luck. Okay, we're not creeping on this person, but I just don't wanna film it. Cause like, how is this even possible? How is this them. possible to walk in that? Okay, Jenny, touch the water. See how cold it is? Oh, it's actually not as cold as I thought it was gonna be. Like it's cold, but it doesn't feel as cold compared to like the air. I thought it'd be a lot colder. That's really like not cold at all. Right, it's a lot warmer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I feel like it's colder out here than it is in there. Yeah, maybe we should get in. How does that even work? We're trying to figure out where this dog is gonna go. It is 3.6 kilometers to Green Lake. We left the beach and we got cold, so we're running. Okay, we're done running for right now. We feel, get the blood pumping. feel a little bit warmer. <laughs> but we stumbled across something that is really funny. It is the nude beach at Lost Lake. It is right there. It's not like a nude beach. It's a nude beach, dock. But like people, I like saw pictures and videos. Well, I wasn't like seeking them out or anything, Creeper. but. <laughs> But like people will just like lay on there naked and just sunbathe. I don't... It might have feels warmer. I don't know. Yeah, and then like you can go swim in there. Fun experience. And it is accepted to do that. Since we are gonna be walking for a while, we have time to think about Lost Lake. I think it was pretty cool. I mean, everybody there seemed pretty chill. This one lady was trying to paddleboard with her dog, and that did not go well at all. It was just enjoyable to be there. Two point eight kilometers to Green Lake. On our way back to Lost Lake, we're gonna stop at the new dock because I think it's really funny. <laughs> I'm starting to get really nervous about bears. We don't have bear spray. Whistler is bear country. They have a ton of like grizzly bears and black bears here. So like, we're trying to keep aware of that. I don't know, it's not that far of a walk. There's a lot of people on this trail. We just saw some bikers go past us. 
Well, there's nobody walking this trail. It's just us. There's bikers and then us. <laughs> so they have the advantage because they go a lot faster than us. We're the stragglers. One kilometer left. Well, the good news is I'm no longer cold because I'm absurdly aware of looking for bears now. So at least <laughs> my mind shifted. This is an extremely easy hike. Yeah, like, it's pretty flat. Wouldn't even really consider it a hike. Like we're just walking from one lake to the other. Yeah. So if that's what you're into, this is the perfect way to go. I mean, like it's so easy that we just like showed up on a shuttle and then now we're just walking down this little path. And then and there is quite a lot of people on it, but not like an annoying amount, but like enough to be like, okay, if I was getting attacked by a bear, someone would probably come by and help. <laughs> It's always about the bears with you. I'm not worried at all. I mean, like, we're talking to each other. We're, like, doing everything we possibly can to avoid but we don't bears. Have bear spray. But, like, that's only good if a bear is currently attacking you. Right. So we're just doing everything we can before a bear even, like, shows up. <laughs> that bear was scary. And now we're on the valley trail. I believe this valley trail connects all five of the lakes around Whistler. I want to see the top of this mountain so badly. Go away, clouds. Go away. Well, this is cool. Glacier tours daily. Well, I think we officially made it to Green Lake. So yes, Green Lake is actually green. It comes from the glacier melt from multiple glaciers near Whistler, and it flows right into the river, and then it all comes basically right here. Since it is glacier runoff, it's supposed to be extremely cold in there. We gotta go walk around so that we can feel the water. We found a spot for Jacob to touch the glacier water. How cold do you think it is? I think it's probably really cold. It's a well, big lake. Lost Lake was pretty warm, which yeah. was surprising. So this one, I think I need to walk over here. Ooh, is this so much colder? It's way colder than Lost Lake. Oh my gosh, it is. And this is probably the warmest part because it's shallow. So I bet if you got out there, it would be so cold. There's no way anybody's swimming in this. Well, it looks like we took the wrong trail down to the new dock. There might be another way down there. Hopefully there is. Jenny seems to have found one. We made it to the new dock. Unfortunately, there's no nudity. <laughs> oh, I can't say that. That's so funny. <laughs> we made it to the new dock, but nobody here is naked. I thought when we were searching this up online, I thought this was gonna be like a tucked away area where like you would really have to want to get to if that's where you were to go. But it's just right here along the trail. Very easy. Everybody can just uh, see you when they're walking by, <laughs> biking by and so. I think that's There's why. also the beach right yeah. there, so yeah, they can right definitely there. see you could, you, all this. Everyone could see you if you wanted to be naked here. Finally got to see the top of the mountain. And there's one over here too with a little bit of snow on it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because the more likes, comments, and subscribes we get, the more money goes to charity and the more money goes to you. And we're doing this exact same thing on my channel. So if you want to show some love over there, we would really appreciate it. <laughs>